Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel as always, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris and in today's episode we're going to be continuing on with our VGC Series 8 content, playing a little bit of a different take on your regular kind of Kyogre build and not seeing the Tornadus, Tornogre. We're seeing Wimogre. So Whimsicott and Kyogre kind of the predominant kind of lead in this team that was, uh, I'd say, taken a lot of inspiration from a post that I saw on Twitter recently from a Japanese player called Jekyll335. I'll leave all their um, socials down in the description if you want to drop over and follow them. They posted a clip of their showdown match with the Whimsicott and the Kyogre, taking advantage of Cotton Sport and Tailwind. So Cotton Sport is a double target attack, drops the speed by two on opposing Pokemon. Pokemon. So you can really take advantage and win that kind of tailwind war almost with your against your opponent, which is phenomenal in situations where you're going up against those really fast offensive teams, just to give you a bit of an edge with Scarfed Kyogre, just to make sure that you are getting that double damage every time. Rest of the team is made up with some highly used Pokemon. We've got the Regieleki in there, we've got the Magnet on it, just to give it that extra boost. We've got Choice Band, Urshifu, so we're really going for a lot of power in this team. And then we've got a little bit of support, again, with the Indeedy that brings terrain control for us if you want it with the psychic terrain to stop priority attacks and we also have redirection there with the follow me which helps out pretty much most things on the team as always there will be a poker piss down in the description i'll throw up the rental at the end of the episode we'll get into the details of the team as we go through a couple of matches so hopefully you enjoyed today's episode and without further ado let's find our first opponent of today okay first up today we got luke playing a team of zassian zapdos excadrill sandaconda amoongus and rillaboom so really interesting team here especially with that kind of sand core that we're seeing there with the sandaconda potentially gmax sandaconda with the excadrill it's going to take advantage of that sand stream when it is put up onto the field uh, Zassian going to be the restricted of the team uh, you're kind of looking at predominantly going to be Zapdos probably the other max Pokemon uh, or the main max Pokemon on this team to provide speed control for my opponent um, but I you know the two grass types do make it difficult for Kyogre to perform as well as you kind of would like to see it perform um, so Depending on what my opponent brings, if they bring both of them, we've got to kind of make sure that we're able to deal with both of them before Kyogre has kind of that free reign to kind of clean up. So maybe Kyogre not the best Pokemon to bring up top. Uh, Regieleki feels pretty good, although you've got to kind of still be a bit wary just because of the sand call that we can potentially see here. Um, hmm. Reggie Alecki. Do we want to go Reggie Alecki? I mean, you know what? I'm going to bring Whimsicott, Urshifu. I'm going to bring Kyogre and, 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 and Thunderous, I think we'll go with as our last one and lock in before we finish up. It's very tricky. Like, Thunderous we need here because I think for the grass threats in particular, like, Thunderous does so well against them, you know? So we need that, like, mitigation. We need that check for them to, like, free up Kyogre. Um... But it's going to be tricky to get it onto the field, of course, when you're looking and staring down at potentially something like Excadrill here. Um, the Urshifu not so great in this situation at all, uh, I will say, right now, because the Airstream is going to come out and do a bunch of damage to us. So we've got a couple of options. What we could potentially do is um, Taunt the Amoongus. We could go that way. Um, Airstream is not going to take us down, and then we would have the opportunity to maybe airstream the next turn um or we got tailwind now and go for a big i think we we tailwind now and go for a big fat wicked blow into zapdos it's probably going to go into amoongus but at the same time it's not going to be the worst case scenario i don't think um because seeing the amoongus kind of makes me feel like probably rillaboom's not come to this match because then you've got Zassian for sure in the back. Um, yeah, and maybe maybe Sandaconda, maybe Ekadrill, I don't know. Maybe Rillaboom. Rillaboom probably makes more sense actually, doesn't it? It really does. Okay, well, we're going to see Zapdos Max. We kind of expected this to happen. We'll get our Tailwind up, which is always going to be useful for setting up that Kyogre to come in in a little while. And uh, we do get the Wicked Blow banded into that Zapdos, which is huge for us, uh, which is huge. So the Amoongus, we're going to see the, uh, oh, it's into Wimmy. Okay. So we can Cotton Spore the next turn. 
kind of wanted to get damage onto the Amoongus because now Urshifu is probably going to get put to sleep, which is not ideal. Um, which makes it a little bit more tricky to get something like uh, Kyogre onto the field. But at the same time, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Because we can go for a Cotton Spore now. And I think, do we switch Urshifu out? Probably better to switch Urshifu out, right? Uh, and get something like Thunderous on the field. Although, I kind of prefer a clean sweep with Thunderous. Get it in, like, unchecked. I'm going to just Wicked Blow into Amoongus. I'm going to let Urshifu go down. If it goes down, that's fine. I think my opponent has to kind of pick here. Do you go after the Whimsicott or do you go after the Urshifu? I mean, you could potentially just Airstream Urshifu and then clear Smog or something into... Um, into Whimsicott, but with the switch out now that we're seeing from my opponent Zassian coming in, we're going to be able to put it down to minus two as well, which is which is phenomenal. Uh, and with the the Amoongus kind of out of the picture, it makes things way better for us. Um, and if we do lose Urshifu here, that's that's kind of fine for us, honestly, because uh, we get the free switch into uh, Kyogre. And even if we lose Whimsicott here, it's kind of fine for us because we get the free switch into Kyogre, which is exactly what we want, right? Yeah, there's a speed boost for Zacian, but it is only, it is, it's still minus one, you know? And we still got a Tailwind up. And I think the Zapdos is probably in range now for the Kyogre to pick it up with a Water Spout. And we're probably able to do enough damage to the Zacian in the process where we're going to be able to, to really dent it. We may need to switch around a few things i think it's probably good to switch urshifu out now um in all honesty into thunderous uh because then we've got the check if if amoongus comes back onto the field we'll be able to break a sash get rid of the zapdos it depends if the zassian stays on the field or not i would imagine it probably doesn't and imagine you want to reset the speed drop that you've taken get amoongus back onto the field but then if we get Thunderous onto the field uh, this turn and that does transpire, then we're sitting in a really good spot because, like I said, the Amoongus' Sash will be broken if it's potentially got a Sash. Uh, but we should do enough damage to it where Cobra Berry is not going to allow it to kind of take a max Airstream from us either, especially an Airstream with another Water Spout. So we'll see what my opponent goes for. But uh, getting Thunderous onto the field now is always going to be a good plan, I think. We'll see. No switch out from that Zacian. Uh, and we just obliterate the field. Okay. <laughs> I didn't expect it to take down the Zacian. I thought the Zacian might be able to uh, actually take that. But we, uh, we just we just do. Just do. Bye-bye, Zacian. Okay, well, that makes things a whole lot easier for us. And, of course, at Kyogre, the thing about the Scarf as well, you've got to remember that we've got so much speed control with it, but it doesn't really necessarily rely on that speed control control so much you know and it is the really boom and the amoongus in the back so um mm -mm. makes things tricky for us of course of course it does because we don't want to get put to sleep by the amoongus by the amoongus that's the thing um mm. grassy glide just gonna kick kyoga's butt here <sighs> Let's be max. Let's be max. Let's be max. We could water spout. Like, we could water spout. That's the thing. Like, we could... Uh, we could potentially bring in Urshifu here. I kind of want to get rid of the um, the terrain as well. That would be more useful for Kyogre late game, you know? It's not really the play. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get rid of the terrain. Because then it frees up Kyogre a little bit later on. We may see a fake out as well. Um, and we may see uh, Thunderous get knocked out. Or put to sleep, I should say, by the Amoongus here. But with Urshifu, we're kind of all right. We just need to get a bit of chip damage onto Amoongus potentially. If it is Sash, but I don't know if it will be. But they're definitely going to spore Amoong uh, Thunderous here. And Rage Powder in. That's interesting. Okay, well, that I mean, that makes things so much easier for us. I think you had to go for the Spore, potentially. Grassy Glide will hurt, of course. Yep. But 
now we can just get rid of the Amoongus this next turn. Um, the Grassy Glide's gone, so when Kyogre does come back onto the field, uh, we're going to be able to just Ice Beam. The Rillaboom um, and everything will be fine uh, till when Pit is out, but I mean, it's not really a big problem, is it? We'll go for a, a Wicked Blow and we'll go for an Airstream. Uh, I think the Amoongus probably is good. If it's got Cobra Bear, it's probably able to take uh, an Airstream, I think, from this from this range. Yeah. We need Urshifu to wake up. We do. We really do. Because it's sporing us right now. It's sporing us. Come on, Urshifu. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Because they're both in Water Spout range if we get the Wicked Blow off. Urgh, come on, Urshifu. Come on. Don't like you being asleep. Grassy glide would be enough to get us. Yep. Um. All right. Well, yeah. There's a spore. I mean, the water spout will be enough to get the Amoongus. Um. Hmm. But we're gonna spend our last turn maxed. Uh, our sleep. But then thunderous. I mean, it's gonna be able to deal with Rillaboom pretty easily, right? We just need to go for the fly. It's not like they're gonna have protect. Um. I think the biggest worry here would be, the concern would be, obviously, if uh, we do see Amoongus pull out a Protect here. That wouldn't be ideal. But I don't know how likely it is. Probably going to happen. Probably going to happen, isn't it, right now? Let's see. Let's see. Come on, opposing, opposing opponent. Let's do this. Well, we've got a guaranteed sleep turn, so we know Thunderous is not doing anything this turn. But I think if you're my opponent, you probably want to get damage. Like, you're going to go after the Kyogre, I think, with Rillaboom, for sure. I think a Grassy Glide here makes a lot of sense. Oh, that's not what we wanted to see. That's not what we wanted to see at all. Uh, because now, yeah, the Ice Beam then, in this kind of situation, would obviously be the better play. Um, <laughs> But I still think Thunderous is all right. Yeah, I mean, the damage it would do in there is like phenomenal, really, isn't it? I think Kyogre is pretty bust. Grassy Glide, be able to pick up the knock. At yep. Um. And now we're not maxed, but we can fly. They're going to get at least one turn of kind of damage onto us, though. So fly. Fly away, Thunderous. If I mean, if we wake up here, then it's 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 done. It's done. It's just worrying what the what the Rillaboom has other options for. Could be banded as well, you know. I don't think it is though. I don't know. The damage on the Urshifu is probably a lot more than what it may have been, and it has only clicked the Grassy Glide. But then, when does Rillaboom really click anything else? You know. Soon find out. I'm sure. There's the Rage Powder coming out from Amoongus. Now it'll be interesting to see what this. Ah, we do get the fly. Okay. It'll be interesting to see what the interaction here is because they've rage powdered us this turn. But then the next turn, if they if they don't rage powder us and they protect Amoongus, it'd be interesting to see. Because now you would think, okay, well, we've targeted the Red Boom, which is now targeting the Amoongus because of the rage powder. But then is that just this turn or is that interaction locked us into Amoongus where the Amoongus can now protect and the Red Boom can Grassy Glide for free? Or do they have to rage powder again? Be an interesting one to test out, at least, wouldn't it? You know? Um, because we, you click in your target, but I don't know if that gets interfered with when Rage Powder kind of interacts with these double target attacks. We'll soon find out now. If it does, that, that's, a, that's a good mechanic to kind of use. Uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't do that. So my opponent had to rage part of there, and um, and now it's it's kind of it's kind of done. But they can just go for the uh, the old protect stall because uh, we have to go fly, don't we? I mean, they're probably not going to wait to damage us, so we may just see the forfeit here as well. Uh, let's go iron tail. Let's risk an iron tail. We risk getting put to sleep, but uh, you know, let's see. There we go. So we don't have to play through that. Very good game to my opponent. Nice way for us to kick off with today. It was a little bit all over the shop in some places, but we managed to get the win. Kind of had a clear sight, a line of sight for us to be able to do that. And uh, we uh, got to see the Wimmy in action as well. So that was always good. So uh, like I say, good game to my opponent. And we'll hop into our next episode game of today. So next up today, we have Diego playing a Rillaboom Urshifu Rotom Heat. 
Porygon 2, Meowstic and Sylveon. So, an interesting team. No Restricted on here from Diego, though, which is a big kind of um, red marker, almost, to say the least. Because, you know, the Restricteds in this format give you such an advantage. Not playing them kind of feels like we're putting my opponent a little bit at a disadvantage straight away. They do have the Rillaboom, which is going to cause us all sorts of issues. Of course, I think if we can stop Trick Room going up, here, it's going to make our lives so much easier. We'll go uh, Whimsicott. It's got the Taunt there. Thunderous, I think, does an incredible job. Kyogre can come and deal with the Rotom Heat. And then to round things off, we probably want Reggie. Mm, Reggie Lecky does well against the... Uh, hmm. Or oh, maybe Urshifu. Maybe Urshifu. It's just that Sylveon gives us a lot of issues if we see that late game. Whereas mm, Didi with the redirection could help a bunch. Yeah, and it helps us out against the Meow Stick uh, if it does start to go for pranks or shenanigans, I guess. Um, oh, Urshifu, which one? Uh, let's go Urshifu. I think, really, overall, Urshifu's got Poison Jab, so Banded Choice, uh, Choice Band, Poison Jab onto the Sylveon. If you can get a bit of chip damage onto it, should do a decent amount of damage. Can't believe we're not playing a restricted Pokemon, though. That is a big surprise for us. So, um, Digger obviously doing well, getting to Master Ball without restricted. So, big props there. Um, and let's not get caught out in this one because I feel like we could quite easily get caught out if we're not careful. So we're going to see Meowstic and Rillaboom. I don't feel really too pressured right here. There's going to be Fake Out on both Pokemon on the opposing side of the field. But we've got a clear shot at going for an Airstream here um, into the Rillaboom. And I think just going for a Taunt into Meowstic. Now the issue here would be if they Fake Out into Whimsicott and go for that... Um, go for the, the, the Trick Room with the Meowstic. Now that would put us in a really awkward spot. But... I don't really feel like we've got too many other options right now. There's not really anything in the back that we want to switch in. Like Kyogre didn't want to come in here. If we can remove the, the Rillaboom early on, that helps. Porygon 2 coming in. Um, so at least we're not going to see a fake out. We'll be able to get a taunt off into the Meow Stick, which is useful. Um, unless we see the Meow Stick go for a fake out, potentially. But the damage onto the Porygon 2 is going to be going to be really useful, you know. We can taunt that the next turn as well, prevent it from setting up a Trick Room. And just really try and lock my opponent down and try and make use of Thunderous while we got it on the field. Because I think that's the big thing. Reflect coming out from the Meow Stick. Definitely going to help my opponent be able to take some big attacks for sure. As we get the taunt off into the Meow Stick. This is where we see a Mental Herb, isn't it? No Mental Herb. Okay, we get the Airstream, which is useful. Um, and a bit of damage into the P2, but the Reflect really helping out there, a bunch. And I want to max, I think max knuckle this next turn into P2 and taunt it. It's probably going to be the way to kind of play it. If we can not use our Restricted here as well, I feel like it's probably a little bit more of an even match. Throwback to Series 7, I guess, which we'll have in Series 9, which is only, what, four, four or five weeks away? Yippee. I don't know what I'm going to be doing when Series 9 comes around, you know, because I feel like we kind of covered a lot of stuff in Series 7. Um, I don't know if it's really uh, content that I'll be redoing. I don't know. We'll have to have a look at what we what we kind of plan on doing. So we're going to see the, the uh, P2 go for the max, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, but we still needed to cover the Trick Room there. If it didn't, if it didn't max and it went for the Trick Room... We'd be in a lot of trouble. This team doesn't like Trick Room, so we've got to do all all the kind of countermeasures that we can along the way to kind of prevent my opponent from getting that Trick Room set up. So um, we are going to get the Taunt into it, which is helpful, I guess, in some sort of ways. But uh, the Max Knuckle going to start boosting up this Thunderous, which is the big thing here. Uh, we do have access to... Um, Steel Spikes as well, which we can throw onto the Sylvia in the next turn. Max Hailstorm. Is it going to be into the Wimmy to get rid of it? No, into Thunderous. Okay, the Assault Vest should help us out a bunch. Yeah, that's that's useful. Um, mm, I 
now. And this is where we probably want to make some decisions. Like, do we go after the Sylvian here and just go Steel Spike into the Sylvian and try and nuke it? Like, double tap into it. We still got our Sash intact with Whimsicott. Um, and then worry about the Porygon 2 a little bit later, you know? We should take an attack from... Yeah, I think, like, a plus one Steel Spike will get the Sylvian, especially if we kind of pair that up with a Moonblast as well. Um... The defense boost might help. Well, it's not really helping anything out, you know. We kind of would preferably have, like, a special defense boost against what's out on the field. But I'm pretty confident that we'll get the Sylvian. My only worry would be if we see it protect, but we're not going to see that. So this plus a Moonblast, yeah, will be more than enough. As long as you don't see a stray berry pop up and um, <sighs> save its bacon. I think the thing is, if we lose Whimsicott, it gets a little bit more scary because um, now they're going after the Thunderous. Just because we haven't got access to that taunt to prevent the Trick Room later on in, in the match, which is uh, which is not ideal. Um, okay, well, like I say, Wimmy's still sticking around. Uh, Thunderous still on the field. But a fake out coming out will not be the best thing. You kind of want to see Rillaboom come out here because I think if Rillaboom comes out here, it's not the best play for my opponent in all honesty because that grassy terrain is going to end in a couple of turns. So it's going to mean to get it back up. My opponent's going to need to uh, to switch out to get it back in again, uh, which is really disruptive to their momentum. But no, they're making a better play with the Meow Stick coming out, uh, which makes it more difficult for us, for sure. Um, Is it worth keeping Thunderous out? No, we could. Well, the superpower might be useful later on. Um, getting Kyogre out onto the field now isn't a bad play because then we kind of can maybe force. Uh, they're going to max Hailstorm. We kind of need to wait a little bit, a little moment. Let's get Urshifu out. And let's go for... Let's go for that taunt into Meow Stick. We might see a fake out and attack into Wimmy here. Could be possible, but I think you're probably more inclined to try and fake out the Thunderous because of the boosts that we've got there uh, and the, the danger that it's kind of um, thrown up onto the field for us. Fake out. Ooh, they're double tapping into the Wimmy, which is, I don't mind. I really don't mind. So you get rid of the Wimmy. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. And now we get Kyogre onto the field. They're not maxed anymore. Uh, they can throw up a light screen, but we can double tap into... The Porygon 2. Um, and they got one more turn of the Grassy Terrain, I think. I think, I think, I think. I'm not too sure. I really want to lock into Wicked Blow rather than Close Combat. So, Grassy Terrain. Are you going to stick around? Taunt wears off. That's the problem. But, not such a problem when we got Water Spout and Wicked Blow. Uh, which should be enough. It should be hopefully is enough hopefully is enough that's that's what we need um because we need to remove something from the field now um the really boom's still going to be scary to face because it gets the grassy terrain up when it comes back in you kind of need it to come up to the field now um yeah wicked blow and water spout and hopefully it's enough if we don't see light screen now then it's definitely enough um but I'd imagine Meow Sticks, we've seen what? Fake Out, Reflect. There's blatantly Trick Room there, I think, as well. Potentially. Potentially. Maybe not, though. We'll see. We'll soon find out. But Water Spout here going to be enough to kind of close this one out. We're having to rely on our restricted Pokemon. So Diego forcing us into using this Kyogre here. Um, there's the light screen. I'm hoping that this is going to be enough between the two. Water spout. Get the meow stick. So if this wicked blow is enough. Oh, I'm not sure if it will be, you know. I'm not sure. Oh, well, we're banded. We're banded. It has to be enough. Of course it's going to be enough. Of course it's going to be enough. Yeah. Yeah. There's no, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. And the grassy terrain disappears from the field just in time for that Rillaboom to come back onto the field. Okay, well, let's see. I mean, banded wicked, two banded wicked blows are going to be enough, isn't it? 
hundred percent. They're gonna go after the Kyogre here. And I think that's fine. Because I think we've got too, ma too many Pokemon left on the field. I mean, they may go after the Urshifu. I doubt it, though. I think you just go after, yeah, go after the Kyogre. No, they don't. Okay, they're going for the Urshifu, wanting to get rid of that. Now that's just, yeah, too much. Because that, plus the Wicked Blow, is going to be enough to clean this one up for us. And we do pick up a win. But you've got to take your hat off to Diego. Not bringing Restricteds and kind of really taking us to the wire in this one. You know, making it very difficult for us. But uh, we do manage to get a victory in the end. But like I say, big props to Diego. And uh, a nice one for us to kind of finish off with today, I guess. So hopefully you have enjoyed it, friends. It's not too often we get to come up against an opponent that's not using Restricteds in a restricted format. So like I say, big props there. And we'll jump over now and get you the rental code for today's team. Okay, friends, here is the rental code for today's team. If you do try it out, like always, I hope you have a lot of fun with it. I think Scarf Kyogre is a really interesting kind of take on playing Kyogre in this format. You kind of predominantly see it with Mystic Water or another item, not generally seen with the, the Scarf too much anymore, but I think it's something that's definitely worth looking at. It's one of those items that allows Kyogre to play completely differently to how you would normally play. You're not looking at it as normally uh, something that you're going to max Whereas you've still got the option to, but you're not generally looking at it as a max mon. You're looking at it kind of a mon to come in either late game, sweep up, or early game to kind of cut through things to kind of pave a way for one of your other Pokemon to kind of do the work after that. So uh, something like Thunderous to come in late game after the Kyogre has done its work with the Water Spouts early game. The, the Whimsicott with the Cotton Spore is really good tech. I really do like it. I think the, the fact that it's a double target attack as well and it's coming off pranks that makes it very valuable. Uh, like I've said, the, the team struggles a little bit with Trick Room, but you've just got to kind of plan your matches out pretty well um, and position Pokemon in a way where if you can't deny the Trick Room, at least you've got options to kind of get some return on your on your attacks. You know, you're, you're getting knockouts where possible with the big hitters that you've got on your team, like Urshifu, you've got redirection there to kind of help out with that, those tricky situations. But overall, I, I really do enjoy the team. And uh, if you try it out, I hope you do as well. So we'll wrap things up there, friends. Have a great rest of your day, whatever you're up to, and uh, I'll catch you for another episode very soon. So thanks for tuning in. Take care of yourselves and bye-bye.